This weather is making it uncomfortable to be outside mm. and also difficult to breathe. That's right. As we've been reporting, much of the state is under an air quality alert tonight. So if you're going outside for, say, a team practice or some other activity, these conditions can really take a toll. News 8 Tina to tell reports. In this extreme heat, many times you know those who are very young or very old or have some type of respiratory illness are the most vulnerable. But even folks like this, even teens, those who are in tip-top shape, have a tough time beating this heat. Clint Sikowski often pushes himself to the limit, but in heat like this, even he paces himself. Depends how you go out. If you're going full speed and whatnot, it's going to be that way. But for me, I've been doing it for so long, I kind of just know when to chill out. The heat and humidity and poor air quality can add up to some dangerous conditions for anyone pushing themselves too hard when it's too hot. Dr. Tony Schwartz says student athletes can also be vulnerable. The coaches are supposed to be a lot more cognizant of any signs of heat, exhaustion or heat stroke. Pads and helmets can hold in a lot of heat on this gridiron, and while football players need to get ready for the season, they also need to stay healthy. Whether they should be in helmets or not, I would somewhat leave it up to the coaching staff, but be aware that, you know, things can go, um, you know, bad rather quickly. Pretty hot today. Um, I have asthma and breathing problems, so I know. This is pretty hot today. So. Folks like Brian Lucier, who have lung diseases, may need to increase their treatments or stay inside. Dr. Schwartz says the most important thing is to stay hydrated and know when you need to take a break or get help. Certainly, any like nausea or vomiting, lightheadedness, you know, feelings of extreme sudden heat would, would definitely be, you know, clues that it's been a little bit too much. While these skaters were here all day long, most of the student athletes didn't hit their fields until late in the afternoon when it got just a little bit cooler out here. In Norwich, Tina Detell, News 8.